Hey, what's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy, and I just want to talk to you young people about why financial management is very important starting at a young age. Now, when I was in high school, my mother always told me good credit is better than money. I know a lot of my friends that didn't learn that lesson. So they was opening those credit cards when they was at Macy's at a young age. They wasn't paying the bill. They were bouncing checks on the little accounts. They were opening up all kind of stuff. And before you know it, they had bad credit before they even start living as an adult, really. That is not the move, okay? When you see people out here in their nice houses, nice cars, it doesn't matter if you're making a lot of money if you don't have good credit, okay? Because then you're still not going to have anybody that let you buy these things. I mean, for me, I always am a, have been a firm believer in living below your means. I started out when I was in high school with the group Escape, and we was making pretty decent money. That first car I ever had was a BMW 325 that I bought. But I had been out on tour, selling millions of albums before I ever bought my first car. I was still driving the old car that my mama had gave me in high school, even though I had an album that was in, in hit songs on the radio. The reason is because I didn't want to just go and spend, spend, spend to put on an image for everybody else. I don't think it's important to make it look like, oh yeah, I got millions of dollars. I want everybody to see it by spending way more than I got because if I have a million dollars but I am two million dollars in debt then I'm still not a millionaire you feel me so anyway I say that to you to say I waited till I had like a hundred thousand dollars saved up in the bank to buy my little thirty thousand dollar car <laughs> and that was because I wanted to make sure that I was secure I didn't want to go out there and buy the biggest bins that I could see or whatever just to impress other people because you got to think about the fact that you got to live for things the time that you don't even see coming yet. I know a lot of people living for today, but just because you're making a lot of money today doesn't mean you're going to be making a lot of money 20 years from now, you know, or 10 years from now unless you set yourself up in a way to where you will be able to make money off of the money that you have. I would have to be in person with you to really go as far into detail as I want to, but I hope that little bit of information was enough for you. Don't try to put on for everybody else. I know how guys be on there. I got stacks on stacks on stacks or whatever they talking about, but half of them don't have stacks on stacks on stacks. Half of them only got a little stack and that's all they got in their pocket. They don't have nothing in the bank. Half of these artists out there, oh my gosh, if I can tell you, they sit up there and they riding around in a Bentley with only one hit single. Who does that? Who does that? They got a Bentley that's like a hundred and some thousand dollars and they probably, yeah, they probably getting that little show money that they get in. But that doesn't last forever. As soon as that single's over, they're not making any money. Don't believe the hype, people. Listen to me. I've been doing this for a long time. And this is another thing that I'm going to give you a little quote that somebody told me. LL Cool J told me one time, he said, and this was years ago, he said, always have a house and a car that you own. He said, so every time you get a little check, throw a little bit of money to the principal. Because mind you, when people buying their cars, half of them ain't buying them in cash, they got a loan on them. So he said, every time you get a check, you know, throw a little bit of money to the principal so you can pay off the house before, you, you know, before time. You can own your house. So I said, okay. I get what you're saying. So that's what I did. And those were words for me to live by. Every time I got a little check, instead of going and balling out and buying that chain or that big purse or whatever to, to stunt on people, then I bought, you know, I paid more towards my house or I paid more towards, you know, things that accumulate value, basically. The, all those purses, I spend, you get a thousand, ten thousand. Um, $2,000 purses, that's 20 grand you're going to spend on some purses that's going to go out of style. Don't do that. Anyway, I don't want to seem like I'm preaching, but please, please, please really take care of your credit. Pay your bills on time. You don't never want to be one of those people that 
is trying to put on for other people so much that you end up making yourself broke in the process. Okay? That's where it's to live by from your girl Candy. I love you.